We're family, basically. That's
पकड़ जा Yeah. Do you have to
Thank you, Saurav, for that wonderful introduction. And um, I want to first thank all of you for being here today because it means a lot to me. Um, I know that we're still in the times um, of ambiguity and chaos still happening because all over the world is still fighting a pandemic. But this is exactly why Farrakhan Atiyah took birth. Um, because I believe, I believe that one must live the moment. And to live the moment, you need to live life large. Um, the pandemic made me realize that everything is so fragile and so momentary, so we actually need to make it count. And because we need to make it count, we need to believe that we are the miracle of life, the fact that we are alive. Uh, Jules, you could enjoy more and live the moment. And um, the, the most important thing I wanted to say was that just like the number four, which is the universal number of wholeness and totality. Um, we have the four directions, the four seasons, the four elements, uh, we have the four phases of the moon, and we even have the four... <laughs> Welcome, ladies. So lovely to meet you. Please have a seat. May we have Farah Khan on stage as well? Thank you. All right, thank you so much for joining us and gracing us with your presence, ladies. We'd all like to know the story behind the muses for the Farah Khan Atelier collections. Am I right? Yes? All right, so put your hands together for the miracle that continuously produces magic in everything she does. She is a spark. A feast stunning and radiant Suzanne Khan. Thank you so much. Thank Welcome. you so much. That's very, very kind. So we are here to pick your brain. A and I want to tell you that you sing like a dream. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> but I know you do, but today was something even better. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. That, that means a lot. Coming. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Thank you everyone for taking time out to come here today. As you know, that this wonderful person over here is beyond my sister. She is one of the biggest hearts and the best human beings that I have ever met. And we all are here today because we love her and I think she's gonna make it really big. This is just the beginning. <laughs> How wonderful, that is so sweet. <laughs> all right, okay. Susan. Okay, yeah. So, exactly, speaking about your sister, and for Farah. So I have to say that when she came to me and she called me a day, one day and she said, you know, Suze, I have this idea and I think that, you know, you should be my brand ambassador. <laughs> I nearly fell off the chair <laughs> because I'm not, you know, I, I'm not uh, very comfortable in front of the camera. And I said, Farah, how am I going to do this? And she's saying, but I just want you to be you. And I feel that you have... What my, what my collection is about. So I was like, what do you mean? So then she went into this whole thing about how, you know, it's so important as a woman to be her full self with full pride and never to feel embarrassed or shy about any failure or shortcomings. Absolutely. So and I think that's... I want, I want to say that, why did I choose Suzanne? Because like, we went through the pandemic and we had to reinvent ourselves and we had to renew ourselves. And that's what Suzanne has done with her life. She's gone through all the ups and downs in her life and she's bounced back stronger and jubilantly and, and made herself even you know, better. And that's what we all have to do in life. We have to put the past behind us and move on. And that's what life is about, living the moment and celebrating ourselves. So that's why you were apt for the uh, brand. <laughs> so then I just, I think I just fit in because it was, I just kind of like enjoyed the moment and, and then it just, it just, you know, like was flowing. Absolutely. And we can see this with this beautiful, all the beautiful picture of a miracle mean to you. And when was the last time you felt something so miraculous? So, Ayat is the epitome of, um, I think, every uh, existence because it's the miracle of life. And um, I think I'm a miracle to even be here 
everyone, each one of you has that miracle to even be in this world and to live the life that you've been fortunate enough to live. So I think that if we keep our grounding strong as to believe that we are, we are, you know, blessed to be on in this space, then we will never let any uh, good or uh, anything that would, you know, take, take us away from our uh, kind of roots. So I think that it's very important, as Farah said, ethics, like when she talks about the four pillars in her design ethos, and she talks about ethics, and I think that we come from an amazing family with my lovely mom over there, and my dad, and my sister Simone, and Faru, and, and Azayad, and Mali, and I think we're so fortunate that we all have this strong bonding of uh, being each other's miracle, literally. We are each other's miracle. That is so beautiful, that. everyone. We are each other's miracle. I love you both. I love you so much. Ali, um, I want to say that each one of you in this room is a miracle. So when you walk out of here, remember you are a miracle of life. You are Ayat. I am Ayat too. And I'm a miracle as well. Yeah. Absolutely lovely. All right. And another question is what, according to you, is the most striking feature of the Ayat collection? So I think that the, um, the simplicity of it being so delicate and at the same time, because it's monochromatic and it's just the blacks and the whites and just, you know, it's so delicate, it kind of gives you the strength that, it need, that you need to have for an everyday wear and that everyday um, miracle or ayat on your neck will remind you of your existence, you know. So I think that it's a very, even when I was, when I did the shoot, I, I was feeling so energized just wearing it. So I think that Farah really nailed it. <laughs> How wonderful. That's as much as his friends. And because she was born to stand out and not fit in. And what, according to you, is, are the qualities that a new age royal needs? And what, according to you, are the modern day princess qualities that one must possess? Um, I believe that the word princess is um, adaptable to anyone. You don't have to be born to a royal family to be a princess. You have to feel it within you in everything you do. And as you say, that you wear your battle scars, you wear your shortcomings, and you wear your good, whatever you have good, with this equal amount of pride and to the cities she's traveled to, for with every color, Farah paints the color of the city at heart. Woven with enchanted stories and painted with the most vibrant colors, it is an artistic expression of the designer's travel escapades. Now one might call this an inspired collaboration, but let me assure you that this is purely a happy coincidence when the completely gorgeous and luminous Amira Dastur became the muse for the Amira collection. Her beauty complements the exquisite pieces of the collection and her grace contributes to their true meaning. A modern woman of the world who is not afraid to be completely immersed in the experiences of the vast world around her. Amira is forever beautiful inside and out. Without further ado, please join, in, in, please join me in welcoming the striking and incomparable Amira Dastur. How are you, Amira? You look absolutely stunning. Oh yeah, thank you. This is all the stylists and makeup artists. <laughs> no, I take no credit. I'm but just here. This is also all you, believe me. You're absolutely stunning. <laughs> all right, Amira, so you have to pick your brain now. What does travel mean to you? And which travel experience has been the most memorable one? Um, I think for me, travel is a way to sort of escape the ordinary. And I think Farah agrees with me in that aspect. It's You're just nodding her head. Farah's just going, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> travel is supposed to be adventure. It's supposed to be your exploits to sort of new places, places you've never been before. And that's what I love about it. You get to learn something. I mean, I'm not saying traveling is easy. I'm not saying every vacation is the best vacation you have. But once you come back for the beautiful Fiza party. So Fiza is my sweet 16 daughter and, and my cousin Alia. They're both the beautiful models that you see on the board there. Alia is in Milan studying fashion, so she can't be here. But 
Fezza's here and she's nervous as hell, so I told her not to be nervous because these are mummy's friends. So they're all going to love you. Alright, so Fezza, I won't take too much of your time, but we all agree that you look absolutely stunning in all the pictures. You've done such a good job. You look so beautiful. Alright, so Fezza, how was it working with, the, with your mum? How was it working with her? It was actually a lot of fun, but like so tiring. It was the first time. So it was like we got up at like 5 a.m. and then we shot to like 6 or 7 p.m. Um, so yeah, it was pretty good, but like we all coped up with the <laughs> changes and stuff. I have to tell you a funny story. So before the shoot, I was like, I'm going to model for you, I'm going to model for you. Okay? So I said, great, wow, let's model. So I take her to Goa and we say, okay, everyone has to wake up at 5 in the morning, we need the golden light. You know, all the girls who take pictures, we need the golden light. And we need the golden light at 5 in the evening also. Okay, so Fiza was like, okay, so fine. So the first day, the energy is there. The second day, the energy dropped. And it was like, I don't ever want to be a model in my life. <laughs> Because um, they were they were giving me tantrums and I was like I wish I had hired someone I'd paid because these three models were the first time going to expect. It's the first experience where you know it's yeah. glamorous and a lot of hard work at the same time. So so on the last day when everything went off well and eventually the pictures came well. So I think um, yeah these are moments and these are memories and that's all we're gonna take with us guys. So let's. Always make memories, and I think it went off really well. Is up? Yeah, I think so. Um, so I've worn an all white look because I feel for this jewellery it works best. Ultimately the jewellery is the showstopper and as you can see this is the Amira collection. Nothing to do with my name, it just means forever beautiful and I think what Farah was trying to capture was sort of a more colourful, vibrant collection that lets women sort of feel like they're doing their own sort of adventure when it comes to fashion. I like the Amira collection the most. Um, I'm thoda biased because I did shoot for it, but honestly, I love it the most. It's the most colorful, and for me, it's the most fun. So, what I like to do is today's times, especially with fashion changing, I like colorful accessories. I like accessories that are also simple and that go with everything. And as you can see, this collection is that. Tell us, tell us about your bond with uh, Amira. 
with Farah. Um, she's a sweetheart. She literally DM me asking me um, regarding a shoot, and I was very excited because I've seen Farah's jewelry before. And I contacted her a few days later, so I was very scared. I was like, "Yeah, I hope that I didn't lose the shoot, and I hope that I didn't lose the opportunity." And as luck would have it, I didn't. I called Farah, gave me her number. I called her. We discussed everything, and we just shot for it, and it's come out so lovely. How much do you love jewelry or not? I think all girls love jewelry. I think that's like we were just born with this thing of our love for jewelry. So for me, I love jewelry. I always will love jewelry, but I like jewelry again that sort of tells you who I am as a person. Which jewelry you want to uh, uh, personally like the most? Um, the jewelry that I like the most, I think, is the Ayat collection that she has because it's again. I wouldn't say simple, but it's smaller pieces with more craftsmanship, and for me, that's very, very important when you're buying jewelry. You want something which, you know, different than what you see in the normal stores, and that's what Farah does. Which jewelry, which jewelry you saved from anyone? Um. I would honestly take a piece from all four of her collections because it's just something different in each collection. Any upcoming projects you do want to share? Um, yes, I just finished shooting for Dongri to Dubai, and I have a Tamil film with Prabhu Deva Bagira, which is coming out soon. Okay, which type of character you are playing? Um, I think we'll stick to the jewelry launch today. You'll get to know more later. Thank you. Thank you. Just give me a second, huh? So, firstly, ma'am, you are looking gorgeous. Tell us about your look and the collection. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. I am um, being um, honored by my sister Farah to be uh, the brand ambassador for her collection and her line. And I'm very happy to do this because it's a, a collection uh, which is, uh, there's a collection called Ayat, and it is about the, it's a miracle of a woman who has really worked hard to do whatever she has, and she is, uh, you know, wears her, her uh, everything very proudly. So I think that when Farah told me, and her collection is very, uh, you know, it's very fun. At the same time, it makes you feel strong and uh, subtle. And it's got these beautiful colors of amethyst, and you know, and, and, and these are my amethyst is my favorite. So I think that it worked really, really well for me because it's a mixture of something that's playful and the something that's serious. How was your experience? I had a lot of fun. Uh, uh, Farah's shoot was a lot of fun, and uh, first time I did a, a ad campaign like that for uh, you know for a jewelry brand. So it was it was very uh, ner I was nervous because I didn't know how I was going to do it, but then I enjoyed it. You know, so it was fun. <laughs> I like her uh, Amira collection, which I'm wearing right now. And uh, I think that because of the beautiful colors and it, you can wear it with so many things. And I also feel that uh, her Ayat collection, which is just a monogram, very small and very subtle, but for the working woman, very strong, very uh, empowering. So I think that the collection is for young working women. Should I help you? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, for, for young uh, uh, or for any aged a woman who's young in the mind, she doesn't need to be young by age, uh, like me. <laughs> so it's just about uh, you know having the uh, uh, tenacity and power to do anything you want to do, and I think that's Farah stands for that. Okay. Yeah. So hey, any upcoming project do you want to share? Upcoming project in my interior designing. Yeah. I'm doing a very good project with the Lodha group, which is launching very soon at the end of March. And I'm doing another project, which is, I'm not supposed to say, that's also end, launching end of March. I'm, uh, my charcoal project is, uh, uh, you know, touch wood, doing good, and I'm very happy about it. Thank you. <laughs> Talking about jewelry, which do you like? Sorry. My everyday everyday basic is um, I have this little pendant I wear, which is given to me by somebody I love, and I wear it every day because I think uh, whatever jewelry you wear should be something that was given to you or something that is a memory of something. So I think jewelry is uh, the uh, you know it, why women like jewelry only because I think that it should empower you, not because you want to show off, you know. 
So it could be the smallest thing or it could be whatever, but it should just feel good because it comes from someone you love. Yeah. yeah. How much you like uh, jewelry? I'm not, I'm not a very crazy fan about jewelry, but I do like, like I said, I like jewelry that's meaningful and that has some kind of backstory. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, today is the launch of my Pret label, Farrakhan Atelier, in India because we've already launched the brand internationally. Uh, this label is about wearable premium jewelry uh, for everyday wear because um, you know we we, we need to live the moment and celebrate ourselves because we've survived a pandemic and we are a miracle of life. So it's important to live every moment. So today's launch is to launch four collections and uh, they're beautiful collections. One is called Amira, which is for uh, the modern day princess. And it's for um, a woman who celebrates her failings as much as her strengths. Uh, Ayat, the monogram collection, is for a woman who is strong and, and fragile at the same time, but is real. And um, then we have another collection called Amira, which is uh, an ode to my travel stories and is modeled by the very beautiful Amira Dastur. And we have Be Charmed, uh, a collection of charms, which is lots of fun, actually. Uh, Self-expression and a lot of fun, yeah. So I'm very excited to be here because I have two muses for my collection, Suzanne Khan, my sister, who's the brand ambassador of the collection because she's always reinvented herself, picked herself up and, you know, always uh, been magical. So when life throws, you know, lemons at her, she, she makes it lemonade. And, and so that's what's beautiful about her, you know. yeah. So, Su so, so, Suzanne is my youngest sister, um, but I love her. She's very, very creative, very strong-minded, uh, very uh, focused, and, and she's very, very soft internally. She's got the softest heart. She's full of love and affection and caring, and what I love about her is the fact that she has turned her life upside down and she's made her life work for her and and now she's she's even come out better than what she was before and so i i admire her strength and and i love her and i wish her all the best always so i couldn't think of anyone better than suzanne to model this collection for me and there's suzanne hi <laughs> here's my here's my darling her. sister who is strong-minded but so full of love and she's got so much love that it'll explode that's the kind of love suzanne has she's soft and strong and she's very very real so i love her <laughs> and no no prize for guessing where i get this love from and where i get the strength from from this lady over here who's not only my sister but she's my uh, model of strength and of the most unique human being not only to me, but to everyone she meets. I love, love, love <laughs> you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
either that side or the stone one.